Hey guys, this is Ryder from MMP here, and um, do you ever just, you know, some of those days where you just don't feel like SSH into your iPod Touch or iPhone to download themes or, you know, whatever? Well, I'm going to show you how to get around that today um, by showing you how to download themes straight to your iPod Touch or iPhone and install them straight on your iPod Touch and iPhone. So, um, a few things that you're going to need from Cydia, um before we get started is um, iFollow, Safari Download Plugin, and Safari Download Manager. So, um, let's just get started. <coughs> Alright, so I'm going to be using um, my website's theme. So, what you're going to want to do is go to electronic. music and paranormal dot webs dot com and once you and once you get there you're gonna want to scroll in or zoom in I'm sorry and click the iTouch and iPhone theme link So right there's the thing. Um, there's a nice screenshot. Um, page overlay, custom iPhone, Springboard Clock. Um, yeah. So all you all you're gonna want to do is click on the link. So you don't hear any advertisements or whatever. Now we're going to a zip file and click download. When this comes up, just click download. And then the file, by the time you close out the pages, the file should be downloaded. Alright, <coughs> so now it's for the somewhat tricky part. You're going to want to go into iFile and you're going to want to navigate to VAR Mobile Media Downloads. So right there's the in, right there's the file that we want to um, take out. So just let me delete these really quick. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is you just click on it and click un or chopper and let it do its job. And this is basically just like 7-zip or um, WinR for um, the computer. I thought it really makes your eye touch more like a computer than it already is to begin with. Um, and you can also um, extract RAR files in our file as well. So just keep that in mind guys. And um, I will uh, very soon be putting up my first um, review for uh, Battlefield by Company 2. So um, be sure to check that out too. And I'm sorry for the long time and not uh, putting in a video when my grandmother passed away so I kind of had it a little bit rough. So now that you've got the theme file out, you just want to hit edit, select the zip file, and delete it. Now, while you have that um, up there, you just want to click it and go to copy link. Click done. And then you're going to want to navigate all the way back to the front page where you started at. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you're going to want to go into library, themes, edit, paste. So now the theme falls in there. Now, um, the only problem with this is, is that you've already, you've still got that theme file that's already, you know, in your iPad. So you just want to navigate back to the place where you downloaded it to. And delete them. Alright. 
So once you've done that, you can then exit out of the iFile. And considering the fact that real VNC viewer crashes when you respring, I'm going to apply the theme or pause the video, apply the theme, and come right back to you guys. So, alright. So guys, now that we're back, um, as you can see, here's the theme, um, custom icons, um, and a page overlay where when you scroll it changes to E, M, and P. Um, and it's a pretty good theme, it's got its own custom music player. Um, and I'll show you that. I mean, you know, it's nothing really too fancy. I'm um, just kind of a simple thing. Uh, it's got a custom dock, and when you go into Cydia, it's got a background. It's got red logos and uh, red pop-ups and uh, red Wi-Fi bars, you know. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And that's how you download an iTouch. That's how you download and install an iTouch or iPod, an iTouch or iPhone theme straight to the device and install it. Alright guys, check back and um, be sure to check out the website, uh, electronicmusicandparanormal.web.com And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Alright guys, see ya.